Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem for the real values of x. Our equation is fifth root of 16 plus square root x plus fifth root of 16 minus square root x equal to 2. So let's get started as we have square root x. So for real x our radicant x must be positive. So our answer must be positive. Now we will use substitutions. Let us say first fifth root is equal to a and second fifth root let's say this is b. So I can write our first equation immediately a plus b equal to 2. Now fifth root is a fifth root is b. Let us write a power 5 value directly. a power 5 will be 16 plus square root x. b power 5 will be 16 minus square root x. Now we will add both the equations. Let's add these two equations. I will get a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 16 plus 16 is 32 plus and minus square root x will be cancelled out. This is our equation number 2. Now we have RHS 2. So 2 can be written as fifth root of 2 power 5. Fifth root and power 5 will be cancelled out. Value will be 2. Or I can write fifth root of 32. So here we have 32. So we are going to apply this 32 value over here. So I can write LHS is A plus B. RHS is fifth root of 32. So in place of 32, we will write A power 5 plus b power 5. Now we will consider power 5 both sides. So I will write here a plus b whole power 5 equal to fifth root of a power 5 plus b power 5 whole power 5. Now fifth root and power 5 will be cancelled out from our RHS. So we can write a plus b whole power 5. This will be equal to a power 5 plus b power 5. Now I will use binomial expansion and Pascal triangle. I need to write a plus b whole power 5 expansion. So for this I will use Pascal triangle to find out the expansion coefficients. So I will write here for power 2 coefficients will be 1 to 1. For power 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. For power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And for required power 5, I will write coefficients 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So these coefficients we are going to use. I will club 1 and 1 all together, 5 and 5 all together, 10 and 10 all together. So let me write here a power 5 plus b power 5. So coefficient 1 is over. Now I will write coefficient 5. So I will take 5 common out. So it formula 5 times a b in the bracket a cube plus b cube. Coefficient 5 is also over. Now the term of coefficient 10. I will write 10 times a square b square times a plus b. And our RHS is a power 5 plus b power 5. Now we can cancel a power 5 plus b power 5 from both the sides. Now here we can use a cube plus b cube formula. So let me write here 5ab in bracket a cube 
plus b cube plus 10 times a square b square times a plus b equal to 0. Let's apply a cube plus b cube formula here. I will write 5ab in bracket a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. Then we have 10 times a square b square times a plus b equal to 0. Now I can take 5ab a plus b common out. So in other bracket we will get a square minus ab plus b square and then we will get 2 times ab equal to 0. Now I will divide both sides by 5 so I can write ab times a plus b in other bracket we will write a square minus ab plus b square plus 2ab equal to 0. Or we can write ab times a plus b times a square plus b square plus 2ab altogether and then we have minus ab equal to 0. Here I will use a plus b whole square formula. So I can write ab times a plus b. Here I will write a plus b whole square minus ab equal to 0. Now our equation number 1 was a plus b equal to 2. So I can write a times b times a plus b and then I will write a plus b whole square. So 2 whole square minus ab equal to 0 or I can write a times b times a plus b times 4 minus ab equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So we can write here a times b times a plus b times 4 minus ab equal to 0. Let's apply product 0 rule. So either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or a plus b equal to 0 or 4 minus ab equal to 0. So let us solve our first equation. a equal to 0. Can we write a power 5 equal to 0 power 5 which is 0? Now a power 5 is known to us. a power 5 was 16 plus root x. So here I will be writing 16 plus square root x equal to 0. Now we will subtract 16 from both the sides. So we will get a square root x equal to negative 16. A square root is negative we are getting complex solutions. So I will write here as our solution will be complex. So we can reject complex solutions. So rejected. Now we will consider b equal to 0. Again if b is equal to 0, raise power 5 both sides. So b power 5 will be 0 power 5 which is 0. Now b power 5 was 16 minus square root x. So I can write 16 minus square root x equal to 0. Or I will subtract 16 from both the sides or we can take minus square root x to the RHS. So we will be getting square root x 
equal to 16. Now consider squaring both sides. We will get x equal to 16 square. Or we can write x will be 256. This is our first real solution. Now we will solve a plus b equal to 0 and 4 minus ab equal to 0. Let me write here a plus b equal to 0. So I can write from here a equal to negative b. Now raise power 5 both sides. So I will write a power 5. Here I will write minus b whole power 5 or I can write a power 5 minus of b whole power 5. Now a power 5 was 16 plus square root x. Minus sign is there. b power 5 was 16 minus square root x. Now I will write 16 plus square root x in LHS. RHS will be minus 16 plus square root x. Now you can see square root x, square root x will be cancelled out from both the sides. So we won't get any solution. So I will write here no solutions. Now we will solve our fourth equation. 4 minus AB equal to 0. Or I can take minus AB to the RHS and write AB equal to 4 or 4 equal to AB. Now we will raise power 5 both sides. So I can write AB whole power 5 equal to 4 whole power 5. Using exponent law, we can write a power 5 times b power 5 equal to 4 power 5, which is 1, 0, 2, 4. So, a power 5 was 16 plus square root x. b power 5 was 16 minus square root x. RHS is 1, 0, 2, 4. Now a plus b times a minus b. We can use difference of two squares formula and we can write 16 a square minus a square root x whole square equal to 1, 0, 2, 4. Now 16 a square is 256 a square root and power 2 will be cancelled out. So we will get only x here with negative sign equal to 1, 0, 2, 4. Now I will take minus x to the RHS and 1, 0, 2, 4 to the LHS. So I can write x will be equal to 256 minus 1, 0, 2, 4. Now this difference will come out 768 with negative sign. But our restriction on x was x must be positive. So here we are getting x negative. That's why we will reject as we are looking for real solutions only. So our final answer becomes x equal to 256. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.